continuing on from our previous lesson and exercise uh, we're going to insert some uh, doors and windows as blocks and as you can see I've, I've already got some blocks here that I've created already uh, basically just line work and I've you know basically saved them as blocks and these two up here the door and the window these are dynamic blocks um, you can see this this particular block here is a little bit different. Uh, it's similar to the way we stretched before, and as you can see, I've got sets of increments. Um, but also with this one, I've got you can flip the door around, so that makes it easier. And I have this other one here where you can change it to 45 degree door if you wanted to. So that's showing a little bit of different versatility you can do with the dynamic blocks. Uh, we're not going to talk about that in this exercise. We're just going to complete our ground floor plan. So, what we'll do is, we'll grab our window, and we'll place it here, and we can stretch that, and then we can copy and paste it up to the next one, as you can see it's the same width so we didn't have to stretch that one, and if we look down our floor plan we've got a few more windows here, we can stretch that one, and we can put one over here. now. In this case here, we we haven't um, we haven't got like the similar door where we can just flip that around. So we'll select on the grip, press spacebar um, four times, as you can see in the command prompt, so we can mirror and make sure we've got F8 turned on, which I do now, and then we can left click and we've mirrored that window around. And now we can continue copying and pasting from that grip. As you can see, I grab onto the window, move the grip, and I can just select that grip, make it hot, press space, and then C for move it, copy. And I'll copy two there. Actually, I don't think we want a, a window in that one there. I think if I look at the plan, now we've, we've got a side light, but we've actually got a door in there as well. So we'll just move that aside for now. Um, and down the bottom here, we have some uh, some windows that we haven't shown so if we create a line uh, from the midpoint of that wall and we'll perhaps offset 300 mil on either side and we can trim TR and trim that out and then we'll match properties so MA space renter so we're on the same layer and we can create another midpoint there, oh, I haven't got my, I'm going to just go to my O snap, so escape out of there, type OS, and I'm going to click on perpendicular, because that wasn't turned on. So, create a line, we'll do it from this midpoint here and to there, and another one from there to there, and we'll offset both those 300 mil. Okay, and we'll trim again. And Alright, and we can delete these little lines out of here. So, E for erase. Match properties, MA. And we'll match these lines. Okay. Now we can put our window in there. So, we'll select that. Left click on the grip. Press space or enter. And then press C. And we can move a copy down. Now we're going to select it. Select the grip, make it hot. Press space and space again to rotate and make sure your F8's on and move your mouse upwards and then we can move across to there okay so we've got all our windows in there let's put our doors in so we'll grab our door and as you can see it's too big and it's also facing the wrong direction so we can select that and again we'll press this button to rotate the door around and here and we want to rotate the door the other direction and also if we look at the plan it's the other direction too okay and here we have another door a bit smaller this one so it fits these increments are in increments of 50 millimeters so an 820 door 870 770 that's what will fit those openings we have got to flip this one around as you can see these dynamic blocks can be very handy with 
uh, moving and mirroring doors and even windows around. Uh, we have a we have a door in here which we haven't shown, so we'll create a line here and we'll perhaps we'll offset that um, uh, 450 to make a 900 opening. And delete and trim and match properties. Oh, we can delete that line there. That's what we want to do. And we can move there. Oop. And we want to flip that door around. Okay, and we've got uh, one more door down here. There's actually a road which we haven't shown, so we can offset this wall 600. Okay, and we'll offset another 100 mil. That's just to allow for the start of the opening, the door. I'm going to uh, stretch this back to there, and I'm going to offset another 900 for another door opening. I'm going to trim. Okay, and we'll grab this door, move it to here, and flip that around. Okay, I think that's. Oh, we've got. Oh, we do have some more doors. We've got the external doors. So we can move one over to here. And we might pull that out a little bit. Uh, okay, and we'll grab a window. And what I'm going to do is, as you can see, it doesn't quite line up. I'd like this line here to line up with the front of the door. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line off this block, select these objects, and then I'm going to um, select the hot grip, press space to move, and then I'm going to line that up there. Make sure your F11 keys being pressed so it's on, so you can line up there. So that's that. So that fits in there. And we had another door that needed to go over here. So I'll put the door. Oh, actually, we'll move that over a bit. And we'll offset that, say 20 mil. Oops, not 20, uh, perhaps another 30 mil. Right. And as you can see, it doesn't quite line up again. Where do we have it? Over here, we had a door oh, in the middle. Okay. So we'll move this door to the middle of the wall here. And we'll again draw a line here to here, select the line, select the block, select the grip, make it hot, press space to move it, and we'll just line up there and you can see it snaps under there. And now we'll just pull that window back. So that's our uh, windows and doors, and that door's correctly opening, yes. Okay, now we can put in perhaps some furniture. Um, Furniture I'm going to use a little bit different to what's shown on the floor plan if you downloaded it. I'll move that off the wall 100mm. Um, we'll rotate this around. Perhaps uh, move this down a little bit. Turn off F3 so I don't snap onto anything. Um, that's not looking too good there, is it? So we might just get rid of that. Something for representation of um, layout. Um, here we have a bedroom or a study. We'll we'll put a bed in here. I'll rotate that around, and we've got the two other bedrooms up here. So put one there, and the one on there, and we can mirror that. So select the grip, hot grip, press space, and you can see we're scrolling down into the command prompt to mirror, and then we mirror it around. And what else do we have? Uh, we've got the bathtub. So we we'll place that there and rotate that. And I'm going to select um, this layer, a center tree, so we can do that from the drop down, a sanitary. And we'll draw a shower. We'll come out perhaps uh, C1500, perhaps, yes. And then we'll maybe make that a meter wide, so 1000. And then we can just draw in some lines. And the path doesn't quite fit there. We'll draw a line here. Oh, that's not quite straight, is it? So we'll draw a line from the 
tip of the bath to there. And we'll draw drag the line down there. And what do we let's have a look at the distance we've got? So D for sorry, D I for distance. So to there to there. 174 mil. Uh, so half that, say it's about, we'll say about, I will move this up 85 mil. It's a little bit different, but 85 mil. It's almost halfway. And what else have we got? We've got, uh, we've got to put in a basin. Now we have, have we got a layer for joinery in here? Uh, yeah, we do. Okay, so layer for joinery. And we're going to move up. Here, so a line there, we're going to move up 350 mil. Oops, sorry, well, 350 mil. We can delete that previous line. And we'll grab this basin on there, and we can mirror again. Perhaps we'll mirror it back to the, move it to the wall, and then we'll come back 50 mil. Okay, now we can trim the line off. And as you can see, even though I had a block and a solid, when I selected the lines for trim, it still allowed me to select individual lines. Okay. And with the toilet. So we'll place that in here. Hot grip. Mirror. And what else have we got in there? I think we've got just about everything in there. Uh, the only thing we haven't put in is the joinery for all the robes and so forth. So we'll match properties there. And we're on the joinery layer at the moment, so we can draw a line in there for the robe. One in there for the robe. And we'll draw a line here. And then we'll move it 600 mil up that way. And we'll do the same there. Move a copy and then move it down 600 mil. Whoop. Okay. The only thing we haven't done as well is the stairs. I think we've got a layer for stairs in here. Okay, so we've got the landing here. Okay, and then we can offset 250 mil for the treads. One, two. I think that goes all the way to the end and maybe comes out one more. All right. Okay, and then we'll trim off some of these lines. And draw a line here. Oop. Draw a line from here to here. And trim off these lines. Okay, so that's pretty much our stairs. Um, I'm not sure I'm quite happy about that little junction there. I think what we'll do is we'll move all the stairs so that lines up with that wall. And then we'll stretch using the S key for stretch. Select that. And we'll stretch it to there. Okay, and then we'll just. Make sure we trim out inside there. Okay. So looking at the plan, I think that's pretty much what we've got. We've got the car here. We can put into the garage. Let's turn off F8. So we put two cars in there, and uh, we've got our cars there. So the only thing we haven't got is the uh, the opening for the door there, so we can come up 250 mil, and um, we'll just offset another 250 mil off there and we'll trim. Okay, and we've got uh, at the back there, we've also got um, a joinery, another 600 mil. We'll probably, oops, draw a line there, 600 mil. And we've got a joinery there. We can match properties from the previous joinery we've got. So we can move to there, there. And that looks like we've pretty much completed what we can do uh, based on what we've learned so far in the exercises. So make sure you save your work. So, and we'll move on to the next um, lesson and chapter.